I'm Jim Lampley, and this is Boxing's Greatest Hits. Jermaine Taylor's bronze medal in the middleweight division at the 2000 Summer Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia, wasn't sufficient to make him one of those instant professional stars in boxing, though it was enough to show his potential, and most notably, his physical talents for the middleweight division. He put together a long string of wins, mostly by knockout, to get into position to challenge Bernard Hopkins for the championship. And over the course of two hard fights, Taylor impressed five of six judges enough to earn decision victories in both fights. That made him a bona fide champion. Let's take a look now at Jermaine Taylor's greatest hits. Taylor burst onto the professional scene, pushing aside anyone who tried to get in his way. After a TKO victory over Daniel Edouard, his resume was strong and the showdown with Bernard Hopkins needed to wait no longer. July 2005, the 26-year-old Taylor got his shot at the middleweight title against 40-year-old Bernard Hopkins. Jermaine was the aggressor early and began to pile up points against the longtime champion. He didn't see that right hand well enough and was momentarily stunned. Taylor has seized the crowd, lands another right hand to the body. Two jab plan for Taylor, and another. Crowd is getting very excited at the young fighter's prospects here. The savvy Hopkins withstood the early barrage and showed flashes of brilliance. Hard right hand inside by Bernard Hopkins. Brilliant counter right hand caught Taylor flush. And in round 10, Hopkins appeared to be desperately gunning for the knockout. Oh, he gets caught with a big right hand. That may be the punch that could turn it around for Hopkins. Taylor holding on. Hopkins again catches Taylor with the right, hits him behind the head. As the suddenly close fight reached the championship rounds, Taylor's corner knew it was up for grabs. understand me? Best right hand of the night for Jermaine Taylor. Big right hand for Taylor. Five seconds left in the fight. The judges are gonna get to choose the winner. In a split decision, Taylor handed Hopkins his first loss since 1993 and captured the middleweight championship. Five months later, Hopkins got his shot at a rematch. And just as in their first meeting, Taylor came out with a purpose and got ahead early. They trade left hooks. Taylor does more damage. Taylor threatening Hopkins and getting in a little right hand. There's a couple of good jabs by Taylor and a left hook thrown with conviction. The middle rounds featured Jermaine landing a series of stiff jabs and Bernard establishing rhythm with his right hand. Hard right hand by Hopkins. Set it up perfectly with the left. In the championship rounds, Taylor stepped on the gas just when he most needed to. Right hand landed for Taylor. And another one. And he rips Hopkins with a jab. Big left hook. Maybe the best punch of the fight for Taylor. Good domination for Taylor. Four punches landed in that exchange. The last big statement of the fight was made by the champion. Taylor came away with the tightly contested unanimous decision victory. June 2006, Taylor took on defensive specialist Winky Wright. Although Taylor controlled the center of the ring and threw and landed more power punches, the fight remained tightly contested up to the final bell. Taylor lands a right hand across the top. Winky grinned a little bit as he wobbled momentarily. Taylor takes a left hand from right and another left hand from right. Winky's been very accurate and Taylor kind of blinked as though that hurt him around the eyes. And he has hurt right badly with a right hand in this round. Now Winky lets his hands go again. For a moment there, he was a sitting duck for Taylor's power and Jermaine took advantage. Their styles were high contrast, and both proved effective throughout the fight. I just counted 11 unanswered punches by Wright. Now well, there's Taylor. six or seven unanswered by Taylor. Now Taylor comes back. Taylor firing his right hand and lands it twice. Third big right hand. Wright lands his jab. Taylor comes back with two more right hand shots. And another, and an uppercut. Jermaine's bringing the crowd to life in Memphis. You got to get out of the this last one. You got this guy, Wayne. You got to fight with your fucking heart now. Let's go. And now Taylor goes to work and bangs hard shots off of Winky Wright Stone. In the end, the fight was ruled a draw, and Taylor retained his middleweight title. December 2006, 
Taylor returned to his home state of Arkansas for a title defense against Kasim Uma. The smaller Uma felt Taylor's superior punching power from the start. And he wobbles Uma back off the feet with a big hard uppercut. Taylor wanted to give the hometown fans an early round knockout. The trainer Emmanuel Stewart urged his fighter to keep his composure. You're moving as a body because you're so strong, but you're not landing and playing. Just relax. Short bringing the shots to go up to the cellar. You understand? You're throwing the right hand for too wild. Just settle down. Uma's free-throwing offensive style gave Taylor plenty of opportunities to land big shots. Hard right hand. That may have hurt Uma. Hard right hand by Taylor and another big one. And a big left hook. Taylor punished the courageous Uma with hard punches throughout the fight and won by unanimous decision. September 2007, the undefeated champion took on undefeated challenger Kelly Pavlik at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. Extremely aggressive Taylor landed some big shots early and in round two appeared headed for a knockout victory. As Taylor suddenly gets Pavlik in big trouble, Kelly Pavlik getting raked by hard right hand and left hand, and now Pavlik goes down. What an assault, and what a survival. After surviving Taylor's best offensive barrage in years, the ever-resilient Pavlik began taking control of the fight. Here comes Pavlik with straight right hands again. He backs Taylor into the corner. Pavlik has tactically controlled this round, and now he lands a big combination and backs Taylor off. Race Taylor with lefts and rights. And in round seven, Havlick closed an instant classic show. And that right hand hurt Taylor. Taylor is done. Uppercut has Taylor in big trouble. Down goes Tremaine. And Steve Smoker is going to stop the fight. There's a brand new middleweight champion. He's from Youngstown, Ohio. Just five months later, Taylor got his shot at a rematch. Fighting at a catch weight of 166 pounds, Havlick wasn't required to put his belt on the line. In round one, Havlick seemed to pick up right where he had left off. Hard right hand by Pavlik. How does Taylor respond? Left hook by Pavlik. Big left hook by Pavlik. Taylor withstood the early Pavlik onslaught and began to establish a much more controlled pace than in the first fight. Hard right hand by Taylor. Good left hook by Taylor. As the fight entered the late rounds, Taylor continued to land some hard shots, but Pavlik's chin stood strong, and he began to wear Jermaine Taylor down. Hard right hand by Pavlik and another. Pavlik keeps coming forward. Taylor's eyes are swelling shut on both sides. Hard right hand by Taylor. Pavlik comes back with two hard shots of his own. Taylor backing up when he needs to throw. Jab and right hand by Pavlik. Body shot by Pavlik. Taylor lost a close, hard-fought 12-round unanimous decision. To see more of Jermaine Bad Intentions Taylor, tune in to HBO Sports.